Welcome back to the Boss Cup and to another crazy event. This week we were greeted to a short level by Lusku and because it was so short I thought it would just come down to perfect execution but seeing the time differences in the top 5 there has to be some crazy stuff going on that I just can't explain. So before we start working our way up through the replays we're just going to take a very quick look at the level because there's not that much to see and then we're just going to go straight into the runs. Now here's the level and I'll let your eyes take a moment to adjust <laughs> to the bright colors. But uh, yeah, just a note on the visuals. I think they look really cool. I like this like bright red, bright green pictures outside of the playing area. Kind of wacky, but I don't know, it looks cool. But for the actual playing, you have three apples kind of centered and the flower to the right. To the left here, you have this kind of ramp area that maybe you can use to gather speed. But <laughs> I know as this last event and was completely wrong, but I'm fairly sure we're not going to be using this area down here. We're going to grab the apples and keep here to like middle and right. But let's just take a quick look a little bit more zoomed in and see what kind of styles are possible. Now I've zoomed in here a little bit, cutting out that left part. We'll see if, I, <laughs> if I'm going to regret that, but I don't think so. I didn't have that much time to play this level. Actually, I only played like 20, 30 minutes or something like that. But I, it felt to me like the apple order was completely forced because jumping from here to maybe take this apple first just feels too long. Maybe you can do some crazy spin here on the hang, but you're just gonna lose time. To me, it felt most logical that you go here, gather some speed, take this apple, and then you kind of use this corner here to push up and get a second apple. And then after taking this, you're gonna go down and grab this third apple. But from here, what I did was I went around here, grabbed this apple here, and then used this kind of hang to swing around and gather speed back right. This felt the most natural, and my teammate did it before me, Elrond, but I just, I couldn't see anything else anyway. But I guess maybe there's also, in theory, a style where you could take this apple, go around, and maybe get some kind of hang here, take the apple, and continue right. The drawback of this is, I think it's kind of hard to get up here. It's hard to get your wheel around to get a grip on this hang, and it just looks a bit longer. But you're gonna be coming with more speed towards the right if you do this, but I don't know. I don't think this is a viable style, honestly. I don't know. You go out here, you have to uh, come around this corner. It just looks very messy and really hard to do. But then again, this style that me and Elrond did, where you go down here, you go towards the left, then you go right and left and right. It's also not optimal. So it's going to be interesting to see because I felt that my time would maybe be improvable by a second or so. But being the top five, there, there are some crazy improvements on that time. So we'll jump straight into the replays and figure out what the hell went down in event number 10. Again, this first replays by me, the time was made fairly quickly, but I did feel that I got a pretty clean run for the short amount of time that I played. So we'll take a look and use that as our baseline. And then from there, we'll see what everybody else came up with. Starting towards the right here, vaulting around to gather some speed, pushing from this first polygon, going up, grabbing the second, breaking very soon, coming back and using this polygon here to push myself to the left, and using the hang here to swing around. Trying to save as much speed as possible, jumping here, it's a pretty high jump, and then breaking and grabbing with the head. Now, the most difficult parts of this run was getting a good grip here and breaking coming around, and then also, you have to stay on this hang for as long as possible and try to swing yourself as high as possible. So you land as far right as possible so you can use the suspension here for the next jump. Otherwise, you're not going to clear this corner here. And then just pushing up here. And I felt that it was faster to grab the head with the flower instead of trying to gas a little bit up here. But yeah, that's basically it. This level is that short. And this run netted me. A 12th place with a 2099. That's also like kind of the reason why I stopped because I got 2099. I was like, ah, it feels good to break a second barrier. Let's leave it there. But also, I, I just didn't have more time to play. In 11th place, we have Andre with 2097, just two hundredths of a second faster. Let's see if he did anything different. He's starting towards the right here as well. Does a little bit different kind of way of getting here, not vaulting around to get more speed. Does the push here? Oh, goes very low and pushes very low there as well. Okay, looks very different so far, but the swing is the same. Doesn't jump as far as I did. Gets the push up here, and let's see, grabs with the head as well. Oh, no, comes around. Interesting, interesting. So the same core style, but very different execution. So moving one step up, 10th place, Spectre at 2077. So cutting 0.2 from Andre's time, let's see how I did it. Going right as well. So far, no changes there. 
does the same kind of vault that I did to get a little bit more push, a little bit more speed. Does the same turn as me as well. So let's see where he saves. Does a quicker turn there. Swings down as well. Doesn't do the long jump that I did. And then pushing up the wheel here. Goes for a head first finish. 0.2 faster. Just cleaner execution, but basically the same moves that I had, except for this part here, where he doesn't like hug this polygon. He just barely touches it with break and comes straight down. That's probably faster. Let's see the next wreck. In ninth place, we have Blastic. Now this is surprising, Blastic this far down. He's usually in like top five, pretty much every event, usually like number four, number three or something like that. But I know he's been maybe playing a bit less recently. Still, it's a significant improvement. It's an improvement of 0.3 on Spectre's time. So let's see how that rake looks. Right first as well. Does the same kind of vault to just get a little bit more speed. Same push as well. Comes up here, stops. So far, nothing new. Also does the short break there. Comes around on the hang, straight down, jumps up, gets the wheel up, and then not head first finish, gases on the polygon. Okay, just cleaner execution overall, probably. We still don't know really what style is faster in the end, but it seems so far that going actually up on this polygon and doing the short push here, and then coming straight down instead of doing the long jump that I did, and then coming up here, gassing here. Interesting, interesting. Let's see who's next. In eighth place, we have Umis. Funny to see Umis here. He's been playing most of the levels, but I don't think he's, you know, hailing to get a good time in, in each event. But nice to see him in the top 10, and he beats Blastic by one hundredth of a second. Let's see how he did it. Right as well. Different start. Doesn't do the vault around, so he has less speed here, but maybe it's a bit faster. Uh, does the short push here as well, but pushes up a lot. Oh, different kind of jump here. Huh, interesting. Feels like that should be slower, but I guess it's not. Let's see the end here. Gases as well. Very nice, very, very different from uh, from the other replays. Interesting here that he actually jumps up instead of like stop and go straight down. But I guess since he had, doesn't have to stop as much, maybe that's faster. But also here, jumps up instead of pushing down. So feels like that should be slower, but I guess it's not. Very interesting. Seventh place. And I'm warning you, like top five, top three gets completely not. So far it's basically the same style, but still quite huge differences, honestly. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Number seven. Pocho. Nice. We see Pocho up here. In 20... Oh, actually, Pocho and Umis have a shared seventh place, I guess. I don't, yeah, you can even see that they both have 54 points because they have the exact same time. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see how I did it. Pocho going left. Yeah, he does the vault around here that Umis didn't do. It's a push here. Let's see if he goes up completely. He does. So, so far it's completely different. Does the short break here pushes down, unlike Umis as well. So he gets a break here. Is it going to be a head first finish or is it going to be a gas finish? Head first. Interesting. Let's merge these two wrecks because they're completely different and end up at exactly the same time. Let's see. Pocho and Umis. Now, Pocho jumping, walking around. Umis going straight down. Umis in the lead, of course, because he didn't jump. Pocho catching up, but then Umis doing the jump here. Pocho coming down. Umis jumping, Pocho going down. And then after the swing, they're completely equal. And then Pocho is maybe slightly ahead but then with the head first they come exactly at the same time now in sixth place we have berry p Ooh, at 20.5 now this this is a huge improvement maybe this is combining some of umis's stuff with some of pocho's stuff and getting a 0.4 improvement but i have no idea let's see what happened berry p going right does the vault up here gets more speed downwards does the pocho style in that sense also goes completely up here, breaks, turns. And let's see, does the early push down here as well, has a lot of force in that. Gets around, jumps up here, and then goes for head first finish as well. So basically same style as Pocho, just a little bit cleaner execution. Without merging it's hard to tell where, but it did feel at least like his push down here got him a lot of speed and then could grab a lot of that momentum back towards the right with the hang. But uh, let's see what happened next. Now, 
we're getting into the top five. And I did promise you that the top five was crazy. I don't really remember exactly what the times were because I, I tried to not look as much as I can. I just kind of had to see it quickly to download all the replays and stuff. But uh, somewhere around here, crazy things are going to start happening. Who got number five? TM. 20.02. So, so far, this is just 300 is faster than Barry P. But after this, it's going to be crazy. But let's check out TM's rec to see if anything crazy happened already there. TM. Wait. <laughs> no way. I... I thought that could be possible if you like spun around a lot at the hang, but just dropping it out like that. And just use it the corner to, to swing around and just about gets the apple, comes back, takes this one. Comes back, wow. <laughs> and this is 300 difference from Barry Peace, right? Completely different style. I thought I just accidentally like entered the level, the, these first like few hundreds of seconds, because it's just falling, basically doing nothing. And then just swings around and uses this corner here to just barely get a little bit up on top, pushes straight from the corner, just barely grabs this apple, comes around, grabs this one. This looks really annoying to be able to not hit that corner on the way back. Comes down and then it's a swing again. And was I didn't even see the finish, I was too <laughs> focused on the on the start. Yeah, it goes around gases and grabs the flower. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I told you, crazy things would happen. I did not think that would be possible. I, I Again, I thought it could be possible if you'd spend a lot of time swinging around, but just dropping straight down like that. Beautiful move, beautiful move. Okay, see, I, I didn't let you down. And honestly, when I saw the time, I thought it would just be the same thing, but now I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's see fourth place. Zero. Surprising to see him in fourth place, but still look at that time. 1953, he cuts half a second from TM's time, but also we're seeing zero in fourth place. What the hell is happening? Maybe this is just gonna be perfect execution of the style we've seen by everybody else, or it's just on completely different. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see. Zero goes to the left, but no, he, <laughs> he does that swing around and grabs this one. <laughs> what the hell is going on? And then there's a hang here. He does a long jump that I did as well to use the suspension for the jump. Goes, and not even head first, he just jumps for the flower. See, he did, now I don't know which style is faster. Like this or TM's or even the other style that, you know, Barry P and everybody else is doing. What the hell is this? In a 19 second long level, how can there be so many different styles? And he just jumps. I'm lost for words. <laughs> and we still have a top three to see. This wasn't like the two winning wrecks or something. We still have a top three. And I did see the times. It gets even crazier. Let's see. Who's in third place? Hosp. Out of nowhere. I mean, I, I don't think he has played other events. Maybe he has played, but not that hardcore, because I haven't seen him in the top. But all of a sudden, he's here in the top three. And he, he beat Zero by just one hundredth of a second, knocking down Zero into fourth place. I mean, what the hell is going on in this event? Let's see if he did the same style or if this is something completely different also. Who knows? Hosp. Start towards... Okay, so now it's not the swing style all of a sudden. <laughs> just the normal style. Gets up here, breaks, comes around. Let's see. Does not do the fast... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Sorry for swearing, but... What the hell? So far it looks normal and everything. I mean, clean run, clean run. And does the full push here. But then uses the very tippy top of that hang to come around the completely other way. But so he can get more suspension and get that extra volts. Let's just take a look here. So first of all, just hitting this corner, not going over, not going to like not far enough and using all this momentum, swinging back here, coming around, getting the wheel on the right side of this so you can get the push and then getting an extra vault in here so you can get even more push with a break here, even more suspension down so you can jump higher and get a cleaner push up here straight to the flower. 1950. I mean, what the hell are we seeing? <laughs> it's like 
Umis and Pocho had the exact same time with different styles. Same general idea, but completely different moves. Now it's Hosp and Zero. 0.01 from each other and they're using completely different styles all around crazy stuff <laughs> crazy stuff now did you think we were done because we're not done not even close we still have two more replays to see and in second place jt and look at that time <laughs> Hosp and zero battling it out at 1952 to 1953 jt comes in at 1809 is one and a half second faster than both of them and they did completely different styles what the hell is going on is this a third style that we haven't seen or is this just really clear i mean you're not going to make a cleaner wreck than zero probably and that host was also super clean with that different hang what the hell happened here <laughs> let's see jt's wreck i'm so excited <laughs> going left does a push down there for more speed. Okay, nice, nice. And then coming back here, does a really quick stop as well. Let's see, pushes from this hang and then goes on the underside, but a really different kind of stop. And goes up, gets the flower. Wow. Okay, so before we look at it again, it's basically the same idea that Hoss pad. No, well, <laughs> actually it's just kind of a hybrid. It's, it's the same idea that most of the replays in the beginning had just adding a few moves in every single step to make it much faster. So instead of doing the kind of vault around and getting a break push from this first wall, he just goes straight down and even gets a push from the underside of this hang by vaulting around here, push. And then just barely has enough time to get the front wheel to clear this corner. And here, instead of going up completely on this polygon, because you don't really have to, right? He pushes away there and just barely grabs that apple by the pixel and comes straight back. And then from here, he manages to get a really fast hang by going really low and even gassing here on top of this hang here, just to save that, you know, extra one hundredth of a second or something. And then manages to break really high, as you can tell, with a vault as well. So he builds up way more suspension, like he kind of uses that elasticity. Look how far his back wheel is back right now. And then using that, all of that suspension, all of that elasticity to push back really high go down here, squeeze his uh, wheels down or something like that, and then just jump with very high clearance in grabbing the flower. Just a push here for more speed. And then coming up here, pushing early back here, just barely grabbing that apple, using this full polygon, pushing down, gassing, and using that hang to swing back really far and jumping high here. Beautiful replay. So we like we've come full circle with the styles. We started with this style basically, then we went to crazy land with TM's wreck and with Hosp's wreck and then with Zero's wreck. Now it seems like we're coming back to the first style, but with every single move optimized to perfection. But we still have one more replay. Now in first place, it's Mielts. Maybe it doesn't come as a surprise because you've seen all the other plays so far, but JT and Mielts found this style together in the Spef team that just completely demolished everybody else. Let's take a look at Mielsa's replay first, and then we'll analyze what actually happened here. Now, starting left as well, doing the same stuff as JT, getting that push, getting the jump here. Let's see if it turns quickly as well. Yes, just barely grabbing that apple. Coming around here, getting the deep down push, and same kind of stick. Really long jump here, and can do a high jump at the end, grabbing the flower. Just beautiful execution. That push, getting the front wheel over there, pushing back here and using that elasticity, just those tiny details in Elastomania where you can use a vault here to both stop your bike with the back wheel and also stretch the front wheel with the inertia that you have from doing that vault. And you can see already the front wheel is coming back because you know it is elastic, so it will come back, but just barely using that stretch that you have to grab the apple. And then coming back here, doing the same thing, doing a really deep push from this polygon. So you go straight down. This couldn't be done for the other styles where you swung around in a little bit different way because then you would be too far down already. But because they do the style where they vault here and kind of just, instead of swinging around, it's more just like a going down and coming back. I, it's kind of hard to explain what the difference is, but just getting a really good push there, really high jump, clearing that corner and grabbing the flower. 
just Beautiful, beautiful styles by everybody involved. Let's make a quick merge of Zeros and Hosps replays first, because they were so completely different and just 100th from each other, to see if there's anything that could have been saved there. Now, both starting, but we all know that Zero will be doing this different kind of hang style down here, whereas Hosp jumps up and goes around. Then let's see. They grab the apples in different order, so so far it's hard to tell who is faster, but by the time they get to the hang, we might have a better idea. Host stopping here. Zero did his long jump and going around. Now Zero is already starting to go left, but Host will come out with more speed from here. And then both reaching the hang. Host doing the completely like clockwise, Zero counterclockwise. Zero is faster, but Host comes with more speed down here and can get that extra push and a higher jump as well, so he doesn't get as stuck on the corner as Zero does. And then Host just barely, barely winning. It's crazy how these two styles can be the third and fourth place and be so close in time. But let's see the difference. I mean, Zero style is completely different, but host style is actually fairly close to JT and Mielsa's. So let's see the difference between host style and Mielsa's. Now, Mielsa immediately going left here, whereas host waits a little to gas and do this vault to get more speed. But Mielz adds this push on the bottom of the hang, so maybe he even gets more speed, actually. And JT and Mielz were the only ones to do that push. And then we see Mielz here stopping earlier, just using the stretch to grab the apple. We saw kind of a similar style from Umi's way in the beginning, and maybe someone else did it. But the fact that he can also push so low and didn't do this extra jump here just means that it's so much faster. And then Gas isn't doing a different kind of hang, whereas Hosp does this crazy corner loop-de-loop -loop stuff. Beautiful though. And then Hoss does come in with more speed, so he will catch up a little bit here in the end, but Mielz is just too fast. And I would say that most of that comes from both the start here, going straight down and getting that push, and also especially from this push here, just grabbing that apple and coming straight back and still getting enough speed to get up on this polygon and then get back to the hang with a different hang style. It's just too perfect, too clean, and just a beautiful, beautiful replay, beautiful style found by Mielz and JT. And again, they end up at 1804 and 1809 to Hosp's 1952, Zero 1953, and then it's in the 20s after that. So just crazy event. And it's incredible how such a short level and from the beginning seemingly so simple can just turn out to be so deep and nuanced. Now, just to prove that I don't spoil myself with these replays before I make these videos, I just now read the Discord for when the results were posted. And not only did I find out that Mielz had a 17.96, but he was disconnected. Either way, Mielz won at 1804, but he did make a 17.96. Finally, I also breaking that 18 second barrier. So we'll take a look at that, but we're also going to watch two SL replays. And I haven't watched these either. This is save loaded, so it's uh, TAS basically. It's not TAS as in usually manipulating frames, but more like you can save a run in the middle and can reload that run. Maybe you play the first five seconds and then you save when you have a good start and you play five more seconds save when you have a good mid so you can basically get checkpoints in the level to make a more clean wreck so let's take a look at these two sl replays and then we'll finish by taking a look at mielz's 17.9 wreck that he also made first replay an 18 second style by jt let's see ah, okay so this is the swing style here it's a, it's a zero start basically gets that apple comes back around takes the second one. Now you don't see the apples getting grabbed because of it's uh, being SL. Jumps down here, getting up, grabbing the flower. Very nice. So it's basically zero style, just performed cleaner because it is a TAS run. So it allows the run to be a bit cleaner, even with a small bounce there from the first polygon. Just barely grabbing that apple, getting a push here as well. And a really high jump here to get more jump upwards as well. So. Very nice replay, and it just shows the potential. I mean, these players only made these times in a week of playing, and usually, you know, it's a work week, so you're not spending that much time, maybe 10 hours to 20 hours if you're really hoiling, or sometimes even more, but maybe for a short level like this, you're not gonna play at least more than 20 hours, probably. But let's see Mielsa's style, 17.7. .7. Okay, so this is one of their normal starts that they actually use in the run, so... Ha! Huh. Oh, what the fuck? 
Oh, and a bru Wow, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. I thought this was just going to be like a really clean version of their normal style, but it turns out to be completely different. But same push here, jumps up, but does a really different kind of, I don't know even what to call this, like a stick here with the back wheel, and then just letting the elastics push up the head, grabbing that apple. And I think I saw a wheel pop here that you can only do at very low FPS when the wheel is at a certain angle very close to the ground. This is only used in really short levels because it's hard to control and you need to play at really low FPS. So you're going to see him pushing this back wheel in and you're going to see it pop just there, just a little bit, popping in underneath that polygon just to get a little, little, little bit of momentum towards the left so that the wheel can just barely get over that corner swinging around and again this is all tool assisted so you can even do the end as many times as you want just to get even a perfect ending as well as you can see with this brutal because doing a brutal when coming already with vault towards the right here is really hard to get like a good amount of push from here and then just clearing the head and grabbing the flower let's see that in full speed again because it's just <laughs> just a perfect replay but this, again, this is probably what it would look like if this level was an internal. But uh, yeah, impossible to do in a one week event with that wheel pop, this perfect hang, and also this brutal here, just mm, barely getting up. And even there's another wheel pop that you can see one here, push, and then one here. Once he gets up here, you're going to see another wheel pop with the back wheel, just to get a little bit more momentum and a little bit more rotation as well. There. Sorry for messing that up, but here you're going to see the wheel, back wheel again. Just stretching a little bit, just popping a little bit. And that also gives you more rotation power. So this pop there with the back wheel. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. And it's really fun to see these save loaded replays because it does give you a hint of the potential of each of these levels. But uh, yeah, with Elasomania, the sky's the limit. But uh, in this case, one week was the limit. So amazing replays for one week that we got to see. And coming back to the standings, we see Zero still in the lead, but <laughs> it's getting really close. Zero in the lead at 820 points. Miel's not even 20 points behind. And JT, not even 50 points behind. We still have five more events. Anything can happen. Plastic probably even has a shot at third place as well because with skips and everything, those points can still change a little bit. And again, we still have one third of the cup left. Barry P, me, and Pocho still fighting here for fifth place. So, really exciting stuff. I can't wait for these five last events because anything can happen. And to finish it off, I promise you we would watch Mielce's actual under 18 replay that he made offline. I don't doubt that this was his actual best time that he did in the level 1796, breaking that 18 barrier. Let's see. Going left here, getting that push, jumping up, barely grabbing that apple. Again, it's just really hard moves. Getting a good grip, good swing, jumping up, then straight to the flower. 1796. Great, great event. Super good level by Losco. It had so much more potential than I thought it did. Maybe if I played more, I would have seen some of it. But just to have these many different styles and moves in a short level like this is really impressive. And again, as always, really impressive replays by everybody involved. I just can't wait to see what happens next event. Thanks for watching.